Hey guys, it's Danny. Today I'm super excited because I'm going to unbox some Repotme stuff. Ooh, I have not received anything from Repotme for the past two years, something like that, which is funny because Repotme is actually my long term partner here on my channel. We've been collaborating for the past four years, which is half of my YouTube existence at this point, I just realized. I've been on YouTube for the past eight years, four of which I have been collaborating with Repotme and they're the only orchid related company that I collaborate with. So you can understand there is a real friendship relationship there, but because of the world situation and because of other reasons such as I'm in the EU, they are in the USA, there are some restrictions when it comes to what I can actually import. Fingers crossed that Repotme will be available in EU soon. Again, because of the situation, all the plans were postponed, so that is that. They recently introduced some new products. They asked me if I wanted to check them out and I said, of course I do, hello, duh. So we're gonna unbox some stuff that I'm excited for. If you guys already know them, let me know what you think about them down below in the comment section if you've already used them, if you're from the USA. And before we start, don't forget to give this video a like if you end up enjoying it and you like hanging out with me in general. It lets me know that I am doing a good job. You are, Danny. Don't worry, you are. And hey, why not subscribe? I post three times a week. Right, so I'm gonna start with something that I chose. Oh, by the way, yeah, I chose some of these stuff because I wanted to pamper myself a little bit. It is a premium stainless steel watering can. Did I show you? I think I did. In one of my recent videos, I showed you that nowadays I am using a watering can rather than the spray which got stuck and never got unstuck. It's on the terrace. I'm gonna ask my fiance to unstuck it for me. <laughs> it's not the pressure, don't worry. So yeah, ever since it got stuck, I decided, hey, I'm gonna use the watering can. And you know what, it's a little bit. But you know how plastic watering cans are? They get deteriorated, they get a little bit brittle and sun scorched from light exposure after a while. So I was like, you know what? I want a fancy watering can since I'm into watering cans now. And lo and behold, I got me such a fancy watering can. Oh my goodness, look at this. Looks a little bit like my IKEA one, but the IKEA one is really, really tiny. I think this one, oh, oh my goodness. Look, Maya decided to join us. She's so curious. Whenever I unbox new stuff, she recognizes new stuff. Whenever I play with new stuff on the table, she wants to see. Yeah, darling. She's been going through a serious molt, so if she's looking a little spiky, it's because she lost some feathers. You might have seen them behind me in the grow room. It's hard to keep them always vacuumed. I have hand vacuum, but sometimes you shed too much. Okay, so this I believe is about a one liter. Don't quote me on that. I'm gonna go on the website and put the correct information on the screen right now. So it is bigger than the IKEA one, which I really like, but I never use because it's just so tiny. What I use it sometimes for is the Tulumnias and tiny little orchids, which I'm gonna have a video about very, very soon with a new setup since I moved around stuff in the grow room. This one will be much, much better because it can hold more water for my tiny little orchids. And it's metal, it's not gonna, oh, the lights came on in the grow room. It's not gonna get deteriorated. It's just gonna last me forever. It has the little logo on the bottom. Do you like it, Maya? I think she's thinking, yes, let me, let me adjust the camera settings. Okay, a little better, right? So yeah, here we go. The first thing that I chose was a watering can because I'm just into watering cans. This is the stainless steel version and they have, I believe, an obsidian black one as well. I see on the box here. So there are two options available. I'm gonna try this out and I'm gonna insert some footage during this video. It's really neat. It's a splurge though, but it will last me a long, long time, actually forever if I treat it right. So I'm very excited about it. I, I could not wait to open it on video for you guys. I didn't want to open it prior. That's why I started with it. But there are other exciting things to get through. Maya Bert, do you want to go sit on the camera tripod? Hmm? Oh, little baby. Spiky. Alrighty, so I got a few more slotted pots. They are the eight 
inch slotted pots, which is quite unique. I did not see these type of orchid pots in such a big size. They're absolutely perfect for bigger orchids. And one thing that I always liked about the slotted pots, which I have been using for four years, at this point. I did have some of them even before I started collaborating with Repot Me, since a friend sent me some of them from the USA. What I love about them is that they're not super tall. The typical orchid pots are quite tall and sometimes that's just uncomfortable and the orchids are more prone to tip over, especially when they're big, if the pot is rather narrow but tall. When you have a pot which is not so tall but rather wide, it is far more stable. So that's one thing that I really like about these pots. And I have here a variety of colors. I'm personally much more of a fan of these guys, but I always use decorative pots. In case you don't like decorative pots though, this can serve as a little rainbow of colors. They are all transparent even if they're colored. I think I did make a um, review video on these pots a long time ago, not this size, the smaller size. So I'll put it down below in the description if you want to see it. I talk about them more there, but yeah, you can never have enough of the slotted pots, which I really, really like. And the eight inch, which I think is about an 16 to 18 centimeter pot, that's quite an unusual size and you cannot really find them all that easily. Next up, we're getting into the new stuff. That's why I got my paper here because I'm not entirely sure how they're called. Oh, wow. Okay, so we have some eighth inch pots as well, like proper pots for plants. So these are called the contemporary, oh wait. No, these are the 6.5 inch. Mind you, I don't know much about, uh, I think it's called the imperial system. Here in Europe, we have the metric system. So I'm just reading off the chart, but it doesn't connect really well in my brain. That's why I mix them up a little bit. So this is the 6.5 inch contemporary flower pot with saucer. And it's cool because the saucer actually twists in and out. So to put it back, you just rotate it and it sits. This is pretty cool. This would be cool for my psychopedalums. My psychopedalums are still awaiting repotting. <laughs> it's been a while. Um, yeah, you know what? This would be great for my zygopetalums, I feel like. So there are three colors here. We have the shadow gray, the designer white, and the cool mint. How <laughs> about those names? And the saucers all look like quirk. They have that color. So these are pretty neat. I do still have some house plants <laughs> from my second channel. Maybe I'm gonna use them with those as well. But yeah, there we go. Got some neat house plant pots. And here's the big version of them, the eight inch. And they do have the same names, but these are the eight inch pots. They look really, really cool, particularly for a modern styled home, which I don't yet have. Hopefully I'm gonna have it soon. Uh, but yeah, these are really, really pretty. I'm gonna save some of these to put in the home. Right now, I don't have any place in my home to grow anything, really. There's no light, uh, but look at them. They're cute. I really like them. But the tinier ones, I'm gonna use for the zygopetalums. All right, oh, ooh, we have cutting tools. Oh my goodness, you guys. I love good cutting tools. Do you know this thing I have for four, no, five years at this point. I have it for five years. It looks horrible, but it's still working. I don't know if it's the best quality, but it's still around. And I also still have my Fiskars cutting tools, which I received from Repod Me three years ago, two years ago, something like that. I use these for the tiny roots, and this, I use it for the dirty jobs, <laughs> cutting vanda baskets and things of the sort. And I feel like these guys are gonna last me forever. They're so good, but yeah, this guy. <laughs> he sings, it, it's getting annoying. <laughs> Anyway, here we have the dual pro pruners. This is interesting. It, it appears to be a repot me pruners. That is cool. Lifetime warranty. Get out. <laughs> 
As I was saying that these things last forever. At Repotme, we believe that customer service and quality products should go hand in hand. If your Repotme product doesn't perform up to standards, we expect due to defects in the material or workmanship, we will replace it free of charge, normal wear over time, industrial use or abuse are not covered. How about that, you guys? Oh, I can't wait to use these. I'm actually gonna try them out in a little second. So we got the Dual Pro here and also the Pro Snips. One is pink, how cute is that? I wanna try these guys out. Talking about the dirty jobs. This is why I use this for. Oh, oh she's so pretty. Wow. Wow, that feels pretty neat. And we also have a little lever here to keep it closed. Let's try the other one. I feel like if I'm starting to cut plastics and stuff, I'm gonna blunt this one. So I'm gonna keep it for plants. How about that? I'm gonna use this one <laughs> for this type of stuff. I think this is more suited for thicker branches. Do I have a thick branch? Hold on. It's not very thick, but it's the only thing I have right now. Like butter. <laughs> oh my goodness. Let's try this one too. Same thing. So yeah, I don't have anything very thick at the moment. I don't have a garden. I don't have garden plants, but they do look great. And I'm gonna try to put them to good use in my new garden, whenever that will be. That is very, very cool. All right, so I think this is about it on the tiny stuff. Let's get in the big stuff, which I have been very excited for. And I'm gonna make a separate video for it. Okay, let me gather my mess really fast. Ta-da! It is a big grow light. As many of you know, I am actually switching my lights in the grow room. Five years of no proper grow lights. It's been okay, but I'm starting to think it actually does make quite a little bit of a difference. And hey, if you're at the beginning, I think shop lights and kitchen lights work just fine, but I'm not at the beginning anymore. I'm 10 years into this hobby. I think it's time for me to go to grow lights. So slowly and surely <laughs> I'm budgeting them and I'm buying them. So you can imagine how excited I was to learn that Repartme now has grow lights. And do I want to test one out for free? Absolutely, I absolutely do, of course, because you don't want to know how much I already spent on lights up until now. <laughs> so this one is called Radiant One. It's from the Radiant series. It is a full spectrum and bloom boost mode. Ooh, it might have two modes. There is a thing that I read. Apparently the reddish yellowish light will promote blooming while the pinkish light will promote growth. I honestly, I want both of them. You know how I arrange my Barina lights. I have both the yellow ones and the pinkish ones working at the same time. And I think it looks beautiful. Oh, this looks serious. <laughs> oh, wow. Obviously this one will have a separate video because I need to hang it from somewhere and most probably the video will come in a few weeks because in August I am going to take a little bit of a vacation, not going anywhere, but I'm taking a vacation from actually posting, editing videos, things of the sorts. I will still work in the greenhouse, which is a mess. I'm gonna work on making it not be a mess and probably come back with a tour, how about that? And in the meantime, because my fiance will have vacations too in that time, I'm gonna ask him to install stuff for me. I'm gonna arrange my shelves, you know, all that fun stuff. So I'm going to film then, oh shoot, do I actually have, I think I do. Yes, I do. Okay, so first off, these actually work with the voltage we have here in the EU as well, but obviously they don't fit in our plugs. We have the UK type of plug, but I have an adapter which, should fit perfectly. There we go. So, thank goodness. Some products from the US don't have the grounding and I was not sure if my adapters have a hole for the ground or not, but they do, they all do, which is good. This is actually the first one that I see has a ground. My fiance would say that is how everything should be, <laughs> to be safe. He doesn't like the European, um, 
plug system, which, you know, I have a lot of products like because I come from Romania, we have the European plug system. He prefers the UK one with the ground and I will have to admit it is safer, yeah. But you know, I grew up on the European system and I'm good with it. He's a bit of a safety freak when it comes to me. <laughs> All right, so this is the light. It's no joke and it's a little heavy. I think it's about a kilogram or so. I'm going to again put the specs on the screen for you guys. We have two fans here. All of the LEDs are protected and covered in these, how are these called? They look like those car lights, don't mind me. So here we have the hanging mechanism and you know what? I just wanna plug it in. I just wanna see how strong this thing is. So we have the power cord, very similar to the ones you have on your computer, putting the adapter that has a fuse for extra safety. And now let's see, I should have gotten my glasses. You guys will be okay. Let's see. Oh. This is pink. And this is not so pink. Oh my gosh, this is strong. I cannot even look at my hand reflecting the light. This is strong, you guys, but the light is beautiful. Hold on. Alrighty, I can look from one side. So we have white LEDs, blue and red. A lot of them are red, the big ones are white, and there are quite a bit of blue ones as well. So yeah, it looks legit. We also have two fans, and there's also another plug on the back Maybe you can actually daisy chain them. I think you could daisy chain them with that. That'd be interesting. I'm gonna show you on the screen what I mean. I'm gonna film afterwards. Wow, it is a heavy duty thing. It like lights up all of my grow room at the moment. It's a little noisy. This is strong, this is amazing. I need to seriously consider where I'm gonna put this, but it's exciting, it's beautiful. So let's see. If I shut down the pink light, you get the proper yellowish light. Yeah, it's a yellowish white type of a light. And this side is only the blue and red light. Everything that is pink in my crow room is just popping right now. It is beautiful, oh my goodness. But yeah, I really need to consider where I'm going to put it. Wow, that is great. Here we go, I have a high intensity grow light. It needs a proper setup, doesn't it? Now, to be fully honest, these types of grow lights have been offered to me by various brands on the market, from Mars Hydro to Spider Farmer and all of those things, and I've always kind of turned them down because I just don't need it. I have natural light in my grow room and I can do with some LED tubes. However, in a setting of, let's say, a basement or a place that does not have natural light, maybe a grow tent, I've seen them being used in grow tents a lot. This is what you need because you need something powerful to light up everything. You don't want to have like a hundred barina lights in a grow tent, I believe. But honestly, since they are very, very, very expensive anyway from other brands as well, I just didn't want to make the investment and just let it sit and not utilize it. Plus, I didn't know about the quality of stuff. In Repotme, I always have faith. Reason why I have been collaborating with them for the past four years or so. You know what? Maybe I can go back to rare plants. I'm gonna call them fancy plants, fancy expensive plants. Maybe I'm gonna get into fancy expensive plants again and I'm gonna get one of those tents just to keep my animals safe because those plants are toxic. And in that situation, this will be it. This will be what I'm gonna use. Until then, I don't know, I need to find a very dark place because this is super powerful and the light that it emits is really beautiful. It's very, very similar to the Barinas. I love it. I really like the light it emits. It's not very pink, it's not very yellow. Uh, but yeah, it needs a proper setup. So I need to think about it, but it's beautiful. <laughs> it really is beautiful. Very imposing, very massive as well. But yeah, that is about it for my little unboxing. If you guys used any of these new products that I unboxed, let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. I'll link you to Repodme down below in the description and to the products if you wanna check them out more. And yeah, with that said, thank you again for watching. Thank you Repodme for sending me some goodies. Hopefully they will be present in the EU very, very soon. Fingers crossed, we'll see about that and yeah. Stay tuned for more Orchid Care for Beginners, which is a series possible 
with their help. Subscribe to my channel for more orchid videos, tutorials, experiments, updates and other fun orchid subjects. If you wish to support the channel, do consider becoming a member or visit the merch store linked down below in the description. You can also follow me on Instagram and Facebook, it's always nice to stay in touch there as well. And with that said, I'll see you next time. Bye!